Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So I hope I'm in position. Right, so I'm going to read them off my phone and then what I'm going to do is edit the screenshots in. Um, and I think that's the way I'm going to do it from now on actually. Um, and it just makes it easier so that then I don't have to write them all down on the pad. Obviously I've got my camera now so I can just... I've got, you know, I've got my phone to actually look at the sales. So, hopefully I am okay position-wise for the screenshots. So, yeah, we're just going to go from them really quick. However long it takes, it takes. So, uh, Scrabble set, this was a deluxe uh, version. This is the one um, that I tend to look out for now. The other ones are worth a little bit of money, but this one's the, the better one, really. And I'm sure there's maybe another one that's maybe a bit more valuable, valuable than this, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got 19.99 plus shipping on this one. Didn't take that long to sell, maybe one cycle, something like that. And um, I paid a 4 99 for that fiver in a charity shop. So yeah, happy with that one. Uh, this was a her of Leeds. Leather checked lining brown waistcoat size XR. I'm just reading the title. Um, and yeah, I paid four ninety nine again in a charity shop, but a different charity shop this time. Um, and yeah, this took a while to sell, maybe a few months. Um, but I was convinced, yeah, this is worth picking up, and it was. So uh, twenty four ninety nine plus shipping on that one. So can't complain. Um, I just want to state before we continue, actually, these sales are just like random date order over the last few weeks um since i've not done a sales update in quite a while i've just like sort of picked random ones from random days basically um it's not any like of the last week or it's not it's not in any order um but yeah that's that one anyway so 25 quid plus shipping i was happy uh on that from a fiver investment uh pretty cool item here um, is this Harry Potter Rubies, um, I think that was the brand, Firebolt Nimbus Broomstick. Um, I put prop in the title, um, I don't know whether anyone would use it as a prop, but, you know, I thought I'll stick that in there. Uh, 29 plus 3 99 shipping. Went within, yeah, this one was actually quite a slow seller, I'd say four or five months maybe. So, yeah, it wasn't the quickest seller by any means. Yeah, maybe, maybe four months, something like that. Um, but yeah, still happy with that sale. Paid nine ninety nine for it in a charity shop and turned it into thirty pound plus postage. And I like that sort of range, you know, ten pound into thirty quid. It's still an okay profit. I mean, I wouldn't want to go much more than that ten pound, but you know, I'm comfortable at ten pound if I'm going to make thirty. So yeah, quite happy with that one. I'm going down a little bit here, and let's get up a little bit. There we go. Um, right, I need to. Get into my phone again. Right, here we go. So, uh, Caterpillar Boots. I showed these in a haul video. Um, mustn't have been that long ago, but, I mean, when did we sell it? 12th of May. Yeah, I mean, it was probably a few weeks ago now. Uh, someone told me we could, I could get 25 from them. I think I did list them at either 20 or 25. Yeah, that was it. I listed them at 20 plus postage. Um, and actually, you know, this woman sent me an offer for, well, she sent me a message through because I didn't have offers on them, uh, best offer on them, but uh, she sent me a, uh, a message and she said, would you accept 15? I replied with an offer of £15 plus postage, and she accepted it. So, happy with that from three quid. I was just happy to get a shot of them, move them on. Um, they had sat there for a little bit, but I wouldn't have said that long, but I was just happy to move them on, really. Because, um, you know, it's about selling, it's not about hoarding loads of stuff, so, yeah, happy with that. As, and as long as there's a fair profit in it, um, you know, I'm happy to accept a best offer and, and get stuff moved on. Uh, really quick sell of this one. Well, I wouldn't say really, really quick. I didn't. It wasn't sort of underselling territory, um, but it certainly went within two or three days, so I was happy with that, but at least it didn't go within a few minutes or a few hours. Um, but certainly, you know, I got a fair price point on this. I hit a nice price point. Um, £30 plus postage, and I paid 10 Yeah, it was 10 9 99 um, and you will have seen this not long ago in a haul video. Cool item, uh, brand new and sealed inside, Shawn Sheep Airfix model. Um, large vintage metal Tonka Digger T6 in my vintage toy job lot that cost me £20 plus commission. So as you can see there, because this one went for £20 plus postage, I've actually not far, you know, got not far off my investment back from me from the entire two boxes 
worth of stuff. So, yeah, quite happy with that one indeed. I priced it to sell. I knew that at 20 quid, someone's going to pick that up fairly quickly. Um, I think I did look at solds, and a lot of the solds were, well, I will have looked at solds, obviously. Um, but I think when I did, if I remember rightly, when I looked at them, a lot, or if not all, of the solds were international sales, and they pitched like 20, 30 pound. Um, I think there may have been some on, actually, listed in the UK. But anyway, I decided for 20 quid, and I knew that if I priced it at that, it was going to sell within oh, maybe two weeks, three weeks, something like that. I knew it was going to sell fairly quickly anyway. Um, and yet, did £20 plus postage, happy with that one. Um, an Audi official promotional red car soft plush toy. I'm looking at that title and I think it's a bit weak, really. I should have maybe um, padded that title out a little bit more. Um, and maybe that's why it did take a few months to shift, or maybe, well, not a few months, maybe a couple of months to shift. Uh, if I put a few more keywords in there, maybe it would have helped it along its way. Um, yeah, 14 99 plus postage. I think I paid 50p at the jumble sale. Either 50p or a quid. It wasn't more than a quid, so happy with that. Um, vintage Topsy and Tim uh, books, 10 times bundle. Great this was. Uh, paid 4 99 for a big job lot of stuff, like loads of vintage books. These were in it, 29 99 plus postage. Must have been within a week or two weeks maximum. No, it was within, it was within a week. It was within a week. Um, again, it was one of those items that I looked at solds really carefully and I really, you know, looked at what I'm pricing them at and think, right, am I pricing these to sell? Because on a lot of items nowadays... I'm really thinking, am I pricing this to sell? Because that's what I want to do. I want to price things to sell within, certainly the first buy it now cycle, but if I can really, seven to 20, you know, the first seven to 21 days. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm looking at with a lot of my items. Now of course, there are items that are higher value, and you know what, I might just price them high and sit on them. But there's other items that I do, you know, in that, 10 to 30 pound range that I want to price to sell and price competitively. So that's what I'm sort of doing nowadays. Got to log back into my phone again, one second. I'll have to do my password because the thing isn't working. Um, nice item these were out of a big haul of Action Man stuff I got. I got a, um, I think, did I show it in video or not? I don't know. Um, got a big, big haul of Vintage 60s and 70s, I believe, believe 70s as well, Action Man stuff. These were in it, these were like a tiny part of this massive bundle. I got it for 50 quid, and as you can see there, they, those two guns went for £10. And I'm in profit on that job lot now, so I'm really happy. Really nice job lot, I've still got, got a few things to go actually off that job lot, so... Yeah, can't complain there. Again, the title looks like it could have done with maybe an extra couple of keywords there, but, you know, the objective uh, was reached and they did sell, so, you know, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, that was those. Interesting sale, really. Um, a Shinon, to, and again, another item that I looked into the pricing and I priced it to sell, and what did it do? It sold. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. There's some items of clothing and some other items that my pricing isn't on point with. Um, but there's certain niches that I really am starting to get my pricing right. And all I need to do is, when I'm jumping into these new niches, I need to be really focused on getting the right price with some of this clothing I'm listing and some other bits and bobs. And then I'll be really good across the board with my pricing. Um, but certainly some of the clothing, I'm, I'm still a bit iffy on pricing and I need to be more confident with that. But some other things, I'm really getting my pricing right and I'm really happy with the results I'm getting from that as well. Um, so Shinon 2000 GL, uh, I think there's a Super, yeah, Super 8 standard 8 reel-to-reel -reel cine projector, boxed condition. Um, again, I looked at solds, I looked at listed, uh, ones that were listed and I analysed that £40 plus postage, I really did think, I was really confident that that would go in a couple of weeks and that's exactly what it did. Going off solds, going off listed, 
price him that little tiny bit lower, but being competitive, you know, being competitive, but not just like really underselling it or anything like that, it really did help. And uh, yeah, it went within a couple of weeks. Obviously, I didn't really vastly undersell it because it didn't go in like a day or something like that. Um, but it, you know, I priced it to sell and it was a nice sale. Paid £10 for that, so £10 into 40 quid plus postage. I'll take that all day long. And I think, yes, I can't slide anymore. So that is the sales for this, up, this sales update. We've just gone past the 10 minute mark. So I'll say bye to you here. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. So thank you for watching and see you very soon.